Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create this animation in Blender by using the Grease Pencil. So let's get started. First create or import the model that you want to draw on. I'm going to import one. You can get the model that I'm going to use for free through the link in the description. But you will have to sign up to CG Trader to download it. I'm not affiliated with them. Once you've downloaded it, go to File, Import and I downloaded it as OBJ so I'm going to click on that. Go to the download folder and go to upload files. Once it's imported, press Shift A and go to Grease Pencil and add a blank. With the Grease Pencil object selected, go here and go to Draw Mode. Now just so you know, I'm going to draw this with a tablet. You can also draw it with a mouse, but it's going to be a little harder. To make it easier, you can go up here to Stroke and enable Stabler Stroke. You can also do that if you use a tablet. Now go here to Origin and go to Surface. And now let's set this to 0 0.01. And now if I draw here, as you can see, it draws on top of the skull. Now I'm just going to set this to 1, the strength. And I'm going to draw along the lines here, for example. I'm just going to draw these rough lines. But I think I'm going to undo that and, like I said, enable stable stroke. Now let's go around here, for example, and go down here. Now I'm going to draw it on the inside, like this. You can add as many strokes as you want, of course. Now you can, for example, also add a stroke here and up here. If you want to change the distance between the stroke and the mesh, you just have to go up here and increase it. For example, I'm going to set it to 0.1 now, and now the distance is a little bigger here. So I'm going to undo that and go set it back to 0 0.01. One modifier that I'm going to add before drawing all of this is the mirror modifier. As you can see, you can select an object, but in this case we don't need that. And now if we draw something, it just mirrors it to the other side. I decided to undo what I just drew because I think that the pencil just doesn't look that great. I'm going to use the ink pen rough instead. You can of course use any brush that you like, I just prefer this one. Since the drawing is pretty repetitive, I'm going to speed that part up. Once you're done drawing, add a noise modifier. Go here, noise, and now as you can see we can animate the noise seat for example. So let's keyframe it and set the end frame to 50 for example. Go to the end and let's go to frame 51. I'm going to set the noise seat at 51 to 10 and keyframe it again and now it will look like this. You can also change the position for example, the strength and the thickness, but I'm going to leave all that at the default values. Now go back to object mode, select the skull, now delete it or just hide it in the render. You can get this option if you go up here and enable it, but I'm going to delete it. Now let's select the grease pencil and press delete on the numpad and go into front view and hit shift A and add a camera. I'm going to hit 6 on the numpad twice and 2 once. Now let's press Ctrl or 0 to go into camera view. So as you can see we can't see the grease pencil object. I assume that's because of a bug in Blender or something. But if we press F12 we can see it. And as you can see we need to zoom out a little more. So let's go out of camera view and press G, set, set and 5. Now this is what the render is going to look like. By the way, I enabled transparent here in the render properties. Once the image is rendered, it will look like this. 
as you can see it doesn't look that great against the gray background so let's change that close this window and go to compositing enable use nodes and i'm going to delete this one and plug the image into the image now let's shift and right click drag here add a viewer node now we can see the result basically all we need is an alpha over node put it here and plug the image into the bottom and now we've got a white background you can of course change the color if you like i think i'm going to set it to something blue now let's save if you have not already and in the output properties i'm going to leave it at full hd and let's select an output folder here let's set the compression to zero. Now let's save again and go to render and render animation. Once it's done rendering you can close this window and go to video editing. Click on the plus sign here and go to video editing. Make sure you are on frame 1. Now hover over the file location and press ctrl c to copy it. Set the file format to FFmpeg video and the encoding container to MPEG4 and the output quality to high quality. Now go here and hit Shift A, image sequence and paste in the location minus the name. Press enter and press A and enter. Now we have the rendered images in our timeline. Now go to render and render animation. So that's it for the tutorial, I hope you liked it, please let me know what to show to next and I'll see you next time.